Hi, so today I'm going to show you how you can access um, a Turnitin account, uh, how to create an account and then become uh, a student under a course that's been added to Turnitin. So one of the important things is to make sure that you're using the right Turnitin uh, website. So turn in UK. Okay. And this is the one you're looking for, the turnitinuk.com, not the turnitin.com, uh, United Kingdom. <clears throat> Fantastic, here we go. Now, if you've already got an account, you can log in and then you can uh, join an account uh, or a classroom from within there. However, if you're a new user, you want to go here. And then you need to choose whether or not you're the teacher, the instructor, uh, or the student. So we're going to go with being a student. Now you'll be given a class ID by your uh, tutor that will be the, uh, it will be a number that will um, identify what class that is. And then you will have a class enrollment key, which is almost like a password um, to let someone join the class. You've then got the other information you need to fill in, such as your first name, last name, uh, and also your email address, a password, and then you need to set up a security question. Turnitin then has its license agreement, um, and then of course your I'm not a robot check. Once you click agree, it will then um, send you an email that will ask you to um, confirm your account and basically uh, verify all the information that you've put in and then you should be able to use turn it in and it should look a little something like this okay so here <clears throat> i have logged in as a student as you can see up here uh, and i have a course that i am um, going to upload some work onto so once you click your course, you'll come to a page like this, where all your units um, will be here for you to submit. You, once you have got your Word document or your PowerPoint or whatever it is you've done your work on, you click Submit and it will come to a page like this. Here you want to put in the name of the assignment. So for example, if your first assignment is note taking, note making, that's what you want to put in there. And then you want to choose either from your computer, your Dropbox or your Google Drive. So if you are using a Google Doc rather than Microsoft Word, you can um, get it straight from your Google Drive um, by just signing into the account that you used. OK, once you've done that, you will click upload and then it should send you um, to a page where it will just ask you to confirm that that's the work you want to upload and then it should go onto the system. So here you can see it's processing my assignment and it's gonna ask me to confirm, fantastic. Great, so it's now been uploaded and then if I go back to the assignment list, I should be able to see that my assignment has been put on here, yes. Now, you'll notice that there's no similarity report for this assignment, uh, mainly because uh, we've turned off the plagiarism as it's so similar to lots of other students' assignments. However, when we get into some of the graded assignments, there will be a percentage appear here, okay? And um, as part of the access course, we ask that you get 15% um maximum in any assignment and that each source is um, less than five percent so we don't want you to have one source that you've used that's uh, the full 15 percent um as again it's plagiarism so make sure that you're checking your similarity uh, a top tip is to try and upload your assignment um throughout the week that it's due in so that you can see what the plagiarism is. Uh, you want to make sure that if it's above um, 15 when you're finishing up your assignment um, that you can edit it and then re-upload it before the deadline. Okay, So this is what it looks like once you upload your assignment and obviously you'll have all of your units on here for you to submit. 
I hope that helps you with um, making a Turnitin account and also uploading your assignments.